Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Dennis. So today we're going to talk about connecting an HD capture card to your PS5. I'm going to show you how to set it up and we're going to show you how to use it with OBS and we're going to go from there. That's what it's going to be. So we're going to show you the capture card out of the box first, give you an idea what it looks like, how everything hooks up, and then we're going to go ahead and do it. There we go. Okay, so this is what we've got, we, the HD video capture device. Okay, this is what it looks like. Let's get it out, see what we get in the box. We have our HD capture card itself, once I get it out of the plastic. Okay, so our capture card is here. All right, we got an input, which is the HDMI. And the other end is USB. Now it's USB 2.0. And of course, we get a booklet walking you through everything. Okay, so the booklet walking you through everything, how to hook everything up step by step so if you have any questions it's all right there so let's go over some quick uh, things to know so your HDMI input port okay and that connects to your video source via the H via an HDMI cable now they did not include that so you're gonna have to have one so just to make sure and your USB port connects to your computer all right I'm gonna go over all this in a little bit anyway so operation is uh, you connect your HD video capture card to your computer or video sources via HDMI cable and you can open the video player using software such as VLC, Media Encoder and OBS which is what I'm going to be using. And then you use the USB video for Windows or USB camera for Mac and video capture device. Now this will work on a Mac as well okay with QuickTime player so just to let you know that and of course you have to choose your USB camera and USB digital audio on your camera and microphone options to make sure that everything comes out with sound you can also use it with Linux now Linux uses the VLC player as an open capture device and again you have to use um, you can use direct show and uh, video device name is the USB video all right just keep that in mind so your specs, interface USB 2.0, video input is HDMI, same for your audio. Your dimensions are 64 by 28 by 13 millimeters and 22 grams in case anybody's wondering. So just as an introduction, this video capture device can collect both HDMI audio and video, okay, at the same time. It transmits the audio and video signals and stores them on your computer via whatever software you decide to use. Uh, it's suitable for an HD collection, teaching, recording, medical image, etc. Okay, so you connect your HD signal with the HDMI, HDMI input, okay, on this end, to the USB, to your computer, and uh, that's pretty much it. Then you just choose your software, and on your Mac, you'll use the QuickTime player, and just all the normal settings that are in there. Okay, and that captures right to your computer. So let's get on, hook it up, show you how that's all done. So they give you this cable here, and that's just so if you don't want to put it right to your computer, maybe you don't have room or whatever. So this is an extension you can put on it. It's just an extender basically. Plug it in. It's very secure and how it fits. That gives you a little bit more reach. And then your HDMI cable is going to go right here. Now they do mention that you can use an HDMI splitter. So I want to add one thing. I did get this. It was provided to me to do the review with and it came from a co company called Digit Now. So HD video capture card V308-CA-S. All right. So you can find that on Amazon and it's not very expensive. It's like $20-$30. So you know, it's an inexpensive way of getting into doing things. And, uh, and of course, if you want to stream, you can use that for that. Okay, so setting this up, what I did is I connected the HDMI underneath this one. Okay, so the HDMI, I took it out. So I removed it. Okay, plugged it into the capture card. I used a longer USB than what they provide. So that provides it out to my computer. So the other end is plugged into the USB port here. Now it's 3.0 and then I have OBS Studios open. You have to set your audio um, device. So
So you have to set up your capture card and your audio both to use the capture card so that they're both working at the same time. All right. Then once you're done, you're going to turn your PS on, PlayStation on. You're not going to get output on the TV screen. If you want output on your TV screen, you are going to need, you're going to need an HDMI splitter. But anyway, you're going to need that. Then you can actually put it on your TV, play it while OBS is capturing it to your computer screen. Once you're done, start your recording, finish it, and you'll be good to go. Now, you can also do this without that and just play it directly on your computer, which is what I did. All right, so that's just something I wanted to show you. Okay, and just to show you that it is working off the PlayStation, using my controller just to go up and down, okay, doing the menus. So that is working. And I did play through my computer and obviously not looking at the TV, which is not ideal. But if you get the HDMI splitter, you'll be good to go.